Mom Jean, um, well, as you mentioned a while ago, Hope Line still continues, yes. uh, even though the the, uh, the health department is stopping its support. Yes. But what does it mean on the ground? Uh, yes, you continue, but uh, with the DOH setting up its own uh, system, what, what well, I on think the ground, what there's does it mean? two different uh, ways of dealing with the crisis line, and with DOH being the government health agency, I think it's very. It's fantastic that they're doing the, their thing. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully that this is what I requested seven years ago, five mm -hmm. years ago, three years ago. Please set up assessment centers. Assessment centers. Yes, that's very important, the assessment centers in the different provinces. Because, for instance, Palawan is number one in suicide. Oh, really? Bicol is number one in incest, according oh. to the DOH, uh, you know, postings. But... What happens is, when I went to Palawan, where we trained emotional resilience, mm. to the, the, because we, we, we knew it was number one. So I flew in with seven um, psychologists for the first pilot test of the emotional resilience mm -hmm. module, which is now going to be a curriculum, part of the curriculum of DepEd. It took us four years mm. and three different regions where we tested it. Um, we were so shocked that there was no psychiatrist in Palawan. We went to the government hospital. There's no psychologist, no psychiatrist. So I had to go to the Seventh-day Adventists where they had 23 trained guidance counselors. Mm. So when we get a call from Palawan for help, we direct them to the Seventh-day Adventist hospital. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I mean like we only have less than 5,000 licensed mm. psychiatrists, yeah. psychologists, and we are 110 million people. Yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting topic. Again, Susie, as a presidential envoy on yes. public health matters, um, what, again, is, is, is the lay of the land in terms of uh, what, the baseline data? Uh, could you expound on that? Um, we keep talking about kailangan natin ng, ng mental health uh, programs, but where is the army? Do we have the warm bodies? The, the accreditations, the expertise in terms of psychiatry, psychologists, and whatever uh, human support we need? Well, we really need to have a mental health public health program mm. and not look at mental health as a clinical, mental mm. health issues or conditions as clinical and therefore requiring hospitals. In mm. fact, uh, the vision is actually for the National Center for Mental Health to become a training and research institution and to integrate all the services in districts, hospitals, and so on. Because in other countries, for example, in Japan and Korea, they have phased out mental health facilities 20 years ago. Now, you don't have these specialized areas of care because mm. it creates more stigma. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, you should be able to go to a general hospital and seek help or care so when you there. say you say you faced they faced out the centers yes. but basically spread out basically mainstream the yes, services exactly that's yeah. the yes. word you mainstream, ah, mainstream it or you integrate it into general health services <laughs> and then hindi mo sasabihin ay pumunta sa mental hospital exactly sa loob o sa labas hindi ba yun ang joke noon eh sa mandalu yung sa mandalu yung sa loob o o sa loob o sa labas so in the implementing rules the National Center for Mental Health oh. is supposed to transition into a research and training uh. Uh, institution facility, which uh. should have happened many, many years ago. But okay na, andyan na tayo. We go, we go in that direction. So this is being done now. Uh, you are yes, training. it's part they of the training. implementing rules and regulations of the mental health law. Now, the other thing is, we know that there are about 3 million people in the Philippines who have depression, 3 million who have anxiety. There's probably an overlap. So we don't say three plus three is equal These to are six the reported million. cases. Reported cases. So that's probably a low figure. Yeah, low. But that's big enough for it to be a public health problem. So mm. in that sense, there needs to be a stronger focus on the prevention, the preventive services, and the role of the school, the home, mm. the church, the community becomes more important. Mm. Because it's not about having more psychiatrists yeah. and more services in the hospital that's the end of the line. Eh? Mm. So we need to go to the root. We need to go to, the, to what's causing so much depression and anxiety.